you act as the booker, you get uh, some promotional help from Ace Freeman, right? Ace Freeman and I brought in the guy who started me out, Rudy Miller. Miller, right, okay. Right. Um, <clears throat> is this a separate entity from the WWF? Well, the WWF had it. It was their part of their territory. And Tutsmont was uh, uh, there, uh, living there at the time, and Ace Freeman was more or less running the, the, the show. Um, Vince didn't, didn't bother with that area. He allowed them to do what he did. But uh, it, it, it was a disaster. They, they were losing money all the time. It was doing very poorly. I, at this st stage, I'd been around uh, four or five years as a champion, so I felt that I knew what the problems were. Uh, and uh, Vince said to me one time, well, if you think, you know, you know, why don't you buy it? And I said, well, I said, if, if I can, if it's reasonable, and he was reasonable in, in selling it to me. Uh, the deal I made, I think I paid him small, like ten, fifteen thousand up front, and then I was to give him ten percent of the Civic Arena monthly. Okay, and uh, I really believed that I knew the problems, and the reason why I bought it was because I really believed that I could turn it around. What were the problems? The problem was Ace Freeman was a good guy, but but they really, like I say, everybody's got a different mentality about what's good and what isn't. Ace Freeman had. The world champion, let's say uh, uh, wherever, uh, I was the world champion, okay? Then he had the United States champion, he had the southern champion, he had the TV champion, he had the Hungarian champion, he had the Canadian champion. Every match was a champion of some sort. It was a joke. Uh, they, they, you know, nobody bought into it. So when I bought it, and I told uh, Seth Ace Freeman down, and Rudy Miller was unemployed at this time. He had had a, uh, a, a, a thing with McMahon and Tutsmont uh, mostly, and he was in the outs. So I felt bad because he had started me out, and he contacted me when he found out I got Pittsburgh, and he wanted to know if I could use him. <clears throat> so I said, yeah, Rudy. So I brought him to Pittsburgh, and um, him and his wife got a little apartment. And I got, I had the meeting one day when I had the time after, while I was doing all this, I had to have a couple of days off because I wanted to make, and I took, got Ace Freeman. I said, Ace, you're, well, you're, fill, you're, uh, you're free to stay here with me. I said, but there's going to be all changes and it's going to be the way I say it. If you can accept that, fine. If not, feel free to go elsewhere. He says, no. Oh. He says, what, what is it? I says, there's going to be no more champions. I says, there's going to be the world champion, which is me. I said, there's going to be the tag team champions, which at the time I think were the kangaroos. I says, that's it. He says, geez, he said, you're taking away the people. I said, no, Ace, that's what killed this territory. That's why this territory, I look, I said, Ace, what are you drawing? You're not drawing flies. Civic Arena with Buddy Rogers on top prior to him, I think. They drew 2,000 people. Place holds 19,000. Right. I says, everything is dead. I says, why do you suppose that is? And no, I said, Ace, you're welcome to stay, but it's going to be 100% my way. Well, okay, he said, okay, but he, he thought I was wrong. But I did that and, I, and, and, and start bringing in some of my own talent. But the only trouble is I'm so busy with my schedule. I'm traveling around and I'm on the phone all the time telling Ace, here's who I want you to call. Here's what I want you to do. Here's the TV matches. At night I'd be in my room and I would work out my TV matches and all that kind of stuff. And it was very difficult. I did that for seven years, seven and a half years. And finally, I'd had it, you know, I wanted out because, but I turned it around and made it very successful. Vince McMahon was born. He couldn't believe it. He said, because we had some sellouts. I'm not going to tell you every show was a sellout. No, but we had a, a sell a, lot, a number of sellouts and we had a lot of great houses where maybe a thousand, two thousand from a sellout. You know what I mean? We completely turned it around and then somebody wanted to buy it off of me and I sold it, I think it was around 1970. Two maybe somewhere around. Did Vince Senior have a piece of that gate at, at any of your gates at all? You were functioning completely independent. You would appear there as the world champion, but yeah. that was the only connection to WWF. That's it. Everything was mine.